um, I was on a bouldering workshop down in New Hampshire and the woman that was teaching the workshop uh, wanted me to improve the way I was climbing on the rock. And her thought was if I could understand movement more specifically actually for my solar plexus, um, which, you know, you could interchange that conversation for just understanding how to move better through core movement, um, that that would improve the way I was going about movement on the rock sort of thing. And so she had given me a suggestion in terms of looking at modern dance, because it moves a lot from that solar plexus or, or core centered focus, um, yoga and Pilates. And so I came back to Collingwood and um, I took a, a modern dance class and there wasn't yoga, wasn't as big here at that time, uh, which is shocking because it's very popular right now. Um, and there was a Pilates studio in town. So I did some modern dance and I did some Pilates and I just felt like I was connecting with the movement better through Pilates, I was understanding it in my body better than um, I was with the modern dance. The instructor had said, you know, I really think you should look at doing your instructors uh, at Body Harmonics. And so that kind of was like a little bug in my ear. And so I went to online back in, I think it was like 2006, and I was looking at the website and then I signed up for the Matt Instructors course. And after I did the Matt, I was like, I'm going to do my equipment training and got my full certification back in 2006, 2007, somewhere in there. And I did some teaching for this one studio for a bit, and then she closed the business altogether. And I took what she had left with clients and I opened Therapeutic Pilates in 2009. What I've also found in having more focus in a private clientele is that the clients themselves get a lot more out of that time that they're spending, even though it's a bigger investment for them financially, they're just more able to get more educated on how their particular body moves and understand better how to move in a more functional way. And we do our best in our group classes to help with this, but you don't really have the time in the group class to break it down and really make sure that their comprehension of where their body needs to move or the muscles they need to be recruiting are really like, actually that is happening or no, it's not happening. And we need to actually change how we're teaching the movement or the exercise so that that client can get better access to those muscles. I say to clients all the time, this is the big thing that separates us from going to the gym and working out. You will always do what you know how to do. You will never do what you don't know how to do, right? So the private client gets that opportunity to learn what they don't know, right? And it doesn't matter how long you work out of the gym. If you don't know what your glutes feel like, as good as the glute exercise is, does not make you use them better. <laughs> it's such an experience that you have to feel it to know as much as I'm describing it right now, what it feels like in the moment is so much different than I can give you with my work. Yes, so the balance between, you know, being a mother and especially a mother of three, because a mother of two is different than a mother of three, I've come to the conclusion on as well. Um, the studio is like another child. So in many different ways, I have four children and, um, it is interesting how the children are aware that the studio is another child they compete with at a certain level, right? So, you know, each kid is pulling so much attention and the studio is also pulling so much attention. And sometimes I can do a great job at how I balance that. And sometimes I don't do as good of a job at how I balance all of that, right? And so their needs are different at different times. Um, and I don't know that there is any sort of perfect way to nail that or not nail that. My brother-in-law, my sister are big into climbing still. And so they have a gym in their house and my son was practicing ascending a rope, right? And so him and I had a little conversation about it because he was doing such a great job, but you know, you can't turn your Pilates eyes off anymore either, right? So, you know, I'm watching him move and I'm like, oh man, he's getting really strong on this one side and he's not as strong on the other. And I said to him, I'm like, you really need to set the rope, reposition it so you can do the same thing again when you go up, but use the opposite arm and leg to what you're doing. And so he like was very receptive. He took that information right in. And so when he set it up and he was trying to put the weight through that other foot, 
was like, I'm really struggling right now. Like this is hard for me. And I'm like, I know because you've practiced already a couple times on this one side and I can already start to see the imbalance happening so, so, so quickly, right? And so it's just nice to be able to also share this with my children and allow them to, to have some opportunity in movement education while they're young and just exploring movement, right? Like it doesn't always have to also happen in the studio or it just helps us think about like, what are you actually doing? Are you paying attention? Do you even notice that you're getting more developed on one side and you just wanna do it because it's easier on that side versus like challenging yourself to go, maybe I do need to like work a little harder on the other side and, and just figure that out. So there are moments that are nice where I get to be able to share some of the knowledge I've gained through this studio and business, you know, with my kids, which is, Kind of cool. Plus, they love coming in and hanging out at the studio. So the Cadillac is their favorite piece of equipment <laughs> to hang out on and play on and, and all of that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's there's no perfect way. It's it's a challenge, but uh, well worth it. And I will say that I think being a parent and also running a business like this, I love teaching and I spend a lot of time teaching my kids, whether it is movement or whether it's other things. Um, this job does help me be a better teacher overall. Back in sort of 2018, I said to Margot that um, I was very much interested in being able to become a Body Harmonics um, educational partner for a couple of reasons. One, I was struggling with the fact that we're so far sort of north of Toronto and not everybody wants to move up here or just trying to find accommodations is sort of awkward in that. And I was feeling a real need to be able to generate instructors. And my request to her was like, I wanna run the training program here so that I can try and pull more from the community. And if I can educate some more people in the community, I would have access to quality instructors that already were available here and they weren't having to like move and transition and all of these other things so that was the initial draw of it um and then really looking over the whole spectrum of things I've always wanted to teach right like that has been a big thing for me from a very early age but I enjoy the challenge of creating and designing excellent teachers and I feel like I want to make a big contribution to our world out there with really good movement educators because I do feel like there's a lot of misunderstanding in movement and what's going on in some of the biomechanics and clients can't always seek the help that they need and I feel like if we can have better educators out there and teaching clients more the information that they need I think what this work does that's different than our typical medical system is we're teaching more prevention, right? We're trying to not manage symptoms. We're trying to resolve the problems, period, right? So that they aren't a problem anymore. And that's really the wisdom that I want to impart on teachers. Like how do we tip the balance of being a reactionary culture to the problems going on in our world versus a progressive like what if we don't actually get there in the first place kind of attitude, right? So that's a bit of my mission and why I want to be part of Body Harmonics. I really believe in the type of education, the quality of the program that they offer. And I think they do an excellent job at making excellent teachers. So I'm feeling very grateful to be part of it. The big thing that I want for them is that this is a lifestyle, right? So. They need to be able to pick their own schedule, the days that work for them with scheduling. And I find in general, I try to pick instructors that are very passionate about this type of work, right? So you're not doing it because it's a job, you're doing it because it is more of a lifestyle and you truly want to share the knowledge. You thrive off of people feeling better. And so as I can work with my instructors and, and get them stronger in how to help clients with that, the client in and of itself feeds that part for them, right? And inspires them to want to come and 
and learn and do more and, and have those experiences. And, and we try to get the staff together and do some master classes together as well. And, and lots of them have gone through the teacher training program with me and found that very inspiring. And, and even as they come up with little like challenges in their body, um, there's ways through things that they never really knew was possible before. And I think that's inspiring for them as the client, but also as the teacher, right? So we try to work very collaboratively together and, and keep them motivated and um, lots of enjoy the on-demand stuff from body harmonics just to keep them focused. And Margot does some great pop-up clinics. So all of that, I think, contributes to, you know, just feeling inspired about movement and wanting to like, it's a bottomless pit. Like there's, does one ever know everything you need to know, right? So I think the more you keep feeding that for people, it's like, oh, you know, you get to this point and then it's like everything empties and you're like, oh my God, there's just so much more I need to know. <laughs> and I think that is what inspires people to keep going at it.